Kefir is a nutritious probiotic fermented milk drink that can be made from kefir starter or kefir grains. Kefir grains produce a product that has a greater probiotic punch and grains can be used indefinitely to make an infinite amount of kefir. In this video I'm going to show you how to easily make kefir at home with kefir grains. First what you need. You need milk. This could be goat's or cow's milk. I strongly recommend you use full fat milk. 1% and 2% milks produce kefir that isn't as palatable as homo milk. Next you're going to need kefir grains. I got mine from a friend. You can check your local Kijiji for grains or buy online if you don't know anyone making kefir. To make your life easy, get yourself a slot spoon and a large mouth container with a cover. I use a glass Tupperware that can hold over a pint. When you get your grains for the first time, they're likely packed in milk. Here I have a batch of kefir that is 24 hours old and ready to consume, similar to how you may currently have your grains. I'm going to separate the grains from the kefir using a slotted spoon and put the grains in the bowl temporarily. Try to keep your grains intact. It's okay if they break, but larger grains are easier to separate later. The kefir left behind can be refrigerated or consumed immediately. Just stir up the kefir to break up any chunks first. Clean out your jar. I just rinse it with tap water to remove anything sticking to the bowl. Place your grains back into the Tupperware and top up with milk. Put the cover on loosely. The kefir will create gases during fermentation and a tight lid will blow off. The fermentation rate of the milk will be dictated by the amount of grains you have. These guys will grow. As you can see, my grains are larger than a large egg. If during the extraction process you break a grain into smaller pieces, don't worry, it will be alright. Also, don't worry if you consume your grains either. Although the texture is unpleasant, they're safe to eat. Eventually you'll have too many grains, or they'll be too large, and at this point you can either consume them or give them away to a friend. When storing the kefir for fermentation, just leave it on the counter at room temperature. You don't want to heat the kefir. With the grains I have, I can ferment a pint of milk in 24 hours on the counter. More milk would take longer. If I were to leave this for 48 hours, the kefir would start to separate and become even more sour. This is still fine to drink, but might be a little too strong for most people's tastes. Remember, the grains are alive and they need to be fed. Don't leave them for more than three days on the counter, or the grains may start to starve and die. If you need to take a break from kefir maintenance, recharge the grains with fresh milk and put the container in the fridge. In the fridge, they should be fine for at least a week before needing a recharge. So there you have it. All you need to get your own kefir being made at home.